tracking slider, my camera tracker I can use for time lapses. This is the whole thing backed up and this is how you transport it. This is the main unit which I will reveal in a moment, the drive unit, drive electronics, a battery and then all the tools that you need. So let me sh start off by showing you the slider mechanism. So all, the, all the tools you need are in a, in a little bottle conveniently. So there's your camera mount. You can have a heavier one if you want to. Connections for the battery, flat ribbon for the drive electronics. The only tool you will need is a flat screwdriver. Also include a spirit level. Um, just helps you set up your camera, le camera level. Various screws for different modes which you will see in a moment. Okay, so if we just take this thing apart, so the top arm is onto which the drive motor mounts. And then if you flip this over, this is just a collection of clamps which you can, can configure in many different modes. You can have different heights, you can have the system run uphill or downhill and so these brackets I just got just from my junk box and in the heart of the system are these two sliders so these are normal drawer type of sliders these actually come from a computer rack so they're fairly heavy duty fairly thick metal and the whole thing gives you just over half a meter travel 600 and 20 millimeters of travel so these are two sliders that are just bolted back to back um, and they give you your travel that you need run very smooth and they're easy to clean if they pick up dirt you can just wipe it clean all the screw threads used is either six millimeter or quarter inch quarter inch is of course your camera standard and the rest are all six millimeters so these can bolt to there in different orientations um, so that you can raise it high or if you want you can have it lower and then you can use that as your cross piece to stabilize it on the back of the motor unit you can also attach one of these with its um, with its foot um, and the thread in there is quarter inch camera thread so you can also put that on a tripod the thread in here is also quarter inch so if you mount it like that you can also mount it on a tripod so if you want to set up a shot to have it higher or lower so there's various means and ways in which you can set this up for different heights, different circumstances. You also have some extra screws if you lose any in the field. The drive motor is based on a chart recorder. So this comes from a chart recorder. Um, the chart recorder was of course much wider before. Um, so I've narrowed it down. You can still see the sprocket holes there. From, so this was the paper take-up spool and this unit used to plug in and out into the into the rest of the chart recorder um, using a delta plug so the drive electronics um, I've built into uh, this box here so you can see all the original drive electronics what was nice about it is that it ran off nine and a half volts AC um, so I just put some diodes in to drop some extra volts so that when you connect up the battery that you then you can run it off of 12 volts so this makes it easy 
to just connect up to your battery and um, and you can you can run your motor uh, in the in the field you don't need any any extra power the nice thing about using the charge recorders mechanism to run the stepper motor is that you can change the speed all the way from 300 millimeters per minute down to 10 millimeters per hour so you've got a amazing range of speeds uh, so what I still want to do is put a piece of paper on the side here some notes telling me how long it takes on any setting to run the full length of the tracker arm so when I built up the drive motor system I arranged it such that by just releasing this you can actually disengage the wheel and you can quickly reel it out and once once you're at your at your position you want to be you re-engage the gear you just introduce this and you lock it up and um, then you're ready to go the other nice thing is that you can actually change direction so you can unscrew the axis here the axle and you can change and put it in the other way around which means that you can change direction this is the original sprocket mechanism and by just gluing two washers in there it makes it into a little sprocket wheel so when assembling it one of the first things to do is to attach the arm that holds the motor the profile of the extrusion there I've made um, a matching head in there and you just introduce the two together and then it's just one screw holding it on and then of course you put your foot on. so on this end you want to attach the ball mount for camera you can either do it there or there it depends if you want to start lower or higher one thing, the nice thing about a stepper motor is when the system reaches end of travel, you don't need any limit switches. And steppers, no harm are done if they, if they reach the end of travel. It will simply just stall and absorb the energy 